Hi guys, welcome to my second video in this series, Countries of the World. Can you guess which country I'm going to introduce to you? As you can see, I'm wearing a headscarf. Yes, it's an Islamic nation. It is Afghanistan. Now where is Afghanistan? It is at the crossroad of Central and South Asia. It consists of 34 provinces and 400 districts. Afghanistan or Afghanistan in American pronunciation is officially known as the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan. It is written as such in Pashto or Dari, the official language of Afghanistan. Afghanistan is the 41st largest country in the world by total land area with a land area of 652,000 square kilometers. It is a landlocked country, meaning it does not have a beach or access to the sea. It borders Pakistan in the south and east, Iran in the west, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan and Tajikistan in the north and China in the far east. How is Afghanistan governed? Afghanistan is an Islamic Republic. The head of state is the president. And parliamentary elections are held once in every five years. This is the picture of the current president. His name is Ashraf Ghani. How does the national flag look like? The national flag of Afghanistan features three vertical tricolor bands. The colors used are black, red and green. The black symbolizes the dark, troubled past of the nation. The green represents both Islam and prosperity, while the red represents the blood shed by those who fought for the country's independence. What about the currency? The currency of Afghanistan is Afghan Afghani. And this is an example of it, a note. The capital city of Afghanistan is Kabul with a population of 4.2 million. It is also the largest city. It is located at the eastern part of the country. Afghanistan has a population of over 39 million people. It's the world's 37th most populous country. The median age is 18.4. This means this is the average age of the people of Afghanistan. The composition of the people of Af Afghanistan are Pashtun, Tajik, Hazara, Uzbek, Aymak, Turkmen, Balok, and others. Here is the national anthem of Afghanistan. It is named Mili Surud. Let's hear it. Since Afghanistan is an Islamic country, the official religion is Islam. About 99.3% of the population are Muslims, while the remaining 0.7% have other religion. The official languages of Afghanistan are Dari and Pashto. 
Now here's a little information on the history of Afghanistan. The country sits at a unique point where numerous civilizations have interacted and often fought. It has been home to various peoples throughout the ages, among them the ancient Iranian peoples who established the Indo-Iranian languages in the region. The land has been incorporated within vast regional empires, among them the Achaemenid Empire or the Persian Empire, the Macedonian Empire, the Indian Maurya Empire and the Islamic Empire. For a success in resisting foreign occupation during the 19th and 20th centuries, Afghanistan has been called the Graveyard of Empires. In fact, this is the nickname of Afghanistan. And Afghanistan became independent on 19th of August 1919. Now let's look at some famous landmarks in Afghanistan. Look at this beautiful building. This is the famous Blue Mosque in Afghanistan. No, it's not the one in Istanbul. In fact, there are a few Blue Mosques in the world. This Blue Mosque is also known as the Shrine of Hazrat Ali, located in the center of the northern Balkh province. This is Herat Citadel, also known as Citadel of Alexander. It dates back to 330 BC, when Alexander the Great and his army arrived here. Many empires have used it as a headquarters in the last 2000 years and was destroyed and rebuilt many times over the centuries. This is the famous Buddhas of Bamiyan. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It consisted of two 6th century large statues of Buddha carved into the side of a cliff in Bamiyan Valley. Unfortunately, they do not exist anymore. They were destroyed by the Taliban in March 2001. Ban e Emir National Park is a national park in central Afghanistan. There are six deep blue lakes separated by natural dams made of mineral deposit. It has been described as Afghanistan's Grand Canyon. Babu Tum is a historic park in Kabul. It is the final resting place of Babur, the first Mughal emperor. Khwaja Abdullah Allah Ansari Shrine is a mausoleum built as a resting place for Abdullah Allah Ansari, a Muslim saint. This graveyard is one of the richest in the east of Herat. Abdul Rahman Mosque is known as the Grand Mosque of Kabul. It is one of the largest mosques in Afghanistan. Do you know of any famous Afghans? Here are some of them. This is Azita Ganizada. She is an American actress of Afghan descent. This is Hamid Karzai. He was a former president of Afghanistan from 2001 to 2014. This is Sidi Bama. He is a Golden Globe film director and producer who produced the movie Osama in 2003. This is Khaled Hosseini, a novelist and physician who wrote the novel The Kite Runner. This is Muhammad Zahir Shah. He was the last king of Afghanistan who reigned until 1973. And this is Jan Cohen, an Afghan-born American filmmaker based in New York. Well, that's it for my video on Afghanistan. If you like it, Please give me a like, share it and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you will be notified when I upload my next video. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!